Hi, I'm David Henson of Henson First Attorneys, serving all of North Carolina. In the event of a car wreck, drivers in North Carolina are protected by their insurance company, which handles claims against them up to the amount of insurance coverage purchased. This means that if you're in a wreck, the insurance company is supposed to negotiate claims on your behalf in good faith. If they fail, meaning the claim isn't settled and a lawsuit is filed, then the insurance company must hire an attorney to represent you to the extent of insurance coverage that you bought. This is where it gets tricky, however. In a traditional automobile wreck case, your legal claim is technically against the at-fault driver, not their insurance company, even though their insurance company has a legal obligation to handle it for them. If the insurance company won't pay the fair value of your case, then you are only allowed to sue the at-fault driver. You cannot sue the insurance company even though you'd like to, or if it seems logical, or if they have not negotiated your case fairly or in good faith. That's why, if a lawsuit is filed, the caption of the complaint will read, John Smith Plaintiff versus Bob Jones Defendant. Nowhere in the complaint will Allstate or Nationwide, Geico, or any other insurance carrier be named or referenced. Even more frustrating is that during the trial of your lawsuit, the identity of the automobile insurance company cannot ever be mentioned in front of the jury. Even though the insurance company is paying for the defendant's lawyer, even though there might be an adjuster sitting in the courtroom, and even though the insurance company will have to pay the award that the jury makes, there can be no mention of the insurance company. At the end of the trial, the jury will be asked how much is Bob Jones defendant obligated to pay John Smith plaintiff as a result of the automobile wreck, not how much will the insurance company have to pay. If even the existence of automobile insurance comes out during the trial and the jury hears it, then there is legal ground for a mistrial, which means that the trial will have to start over again with a new jury. This is among the most frustrating and unfair laws in North Carolina. Juries are confused when insurance isn't mentioned in trial, especially because they know we're all required to carry automobile insurance. As a lawyer, I have seen countless cases where a jury makes an award believing that the judgment will have to be paid by the defendant personally rather than by an insurance company who's in the business to do this. As a result, the award is often unfairly low for the types of injuries they are meant to compensate. We believe that insurance companies should be held accountable for the way that they treat injured people and for the way they deny claims without regard to fairness or what is morally right. It's unfair, but it's the law in North Carolina. That's why having a lawyer is even more important so that your rights are fully protected when you walk into court. This is David Henson with Henson First Attorneys. If you have additional questions, go to our website at lawmed.com.